When I first saw my drill instructor, uh, we were all sitting down, kind of like in a school circle around the drill instructor hut. And they kicked the door open, and we're all sitting there. And they all walked out, perfectly spaced out, perfectly in step. And my heart started just like, it just dropped in my chest. And it was pretty scary. It was probably like one of the most intimidating moments of my life. What went through my mind when I first met my drill instructors? Well, at first I was like thinking, oh, yeah, this isn't that bad when they were swearing in. And then they turned around and faced us. And the look on their faces was like they wanted to kill us. And they were staring right through my face, right in my eyes. And I was immediately like, wow, this is going to be the hardest three months of my life. It is our mission to train each and every one of you to become a United States Marine. A Marine is characterized as one who possesses the highest of military virtues. He obeys orders, respects his seniors, and strives constantly to be the best at everything he does. Everything, they, every movement was perfect. I had watched videos on YouTube before about it, and like I've seen it millions of times, but actually seeing it in person was completely different. The way they spoke, the way they moved, everything was just perfectly in sync. And it was just, in, in general, like super intimidating and like a lot to live up to. The purpose of the whirlwind and the, the screaming and the chaos after the senior general instructor's speech is to kind of snap the recruits into the mentality of, you know, you're no longer in Kansas anymore. On that first day when they actually, when I step out there and introduce myself, I want those recruits to understand that we're going to train them and we're going to train them hard as professionals and teach them how to be professionally a basically disciplined young Marine. Second of all, I want them to understand and get that culture shock of what's going to be expected of them. The ground rules, everything that, that, that we're going to demand of them and how we're going to demand of them, uh, our expectations. So that way, when it comes to them carrying out the daily tasks or daily missions, that they know we mean business and they know what needs to be and what is expected of them as recruits. is to maintain house security, weapon security, and recruit accountability. So they walk the house, count weapons, count the recruits that are on deck, and also they learn the 11 general orders. And when somebody walks on deck, they know to report the procedures, which includes the counts of equipment, the counts of recruits, and the counts of weapons on deck. E4 The purpose of teaching the kids the rank structures is, for one, they're going to be working with people from the military all throughout the Marine Corps, Army, Navy, depends on their MOS. So it's important to know exactly who you're going to be working with, to demonstrate their respect and their customer courtesy to each other. Of that, it's important to actually teach everyone the rank structures because they're going to be tested on it on the T-32 test. Um, this is cool handles the loss of privacy in boot camp by um, Imagining that the other recruits are like my brothers and uh, treating this house like it's my actual home that I, um, that I left back in Washington. It is mandatory for the kids to constantly clean the house and maintain proper hygiene, to make sure that there's no sickness that spread. Also to teach them that attention to detail, what Marines are known for. We send the kids to medical to make sure that they handle all the issues. So that leaves maximized time for trainings and they always get it back to maximize their time.
Today the recruits are doing laps around the track, a 400 meter lap. Uh, we're either going to do that four times with a cool down circle in between. The purpose of this is designed to get their cardiovascular endurance to a level to where they would be able to perform at a high level for their first PFT coming up this Friday. The main event that I see recruits struggling with on the PFT, surprisingly, is the crunches. Um, a lot of these recruits aren't used to having the core strength um, for whatever reason, and a lot of them struggle and some fail uh, due to their, uh, their crunch time not meeting the minimum standards of the Marine Corps. 21 pull-ups, 100 crunches, and have a run time of 18 minutes. But ultimately, that's, that's the perfect score, so in recruit training, that's what we're striving for. Day. Oh man, it's just uh, chow to chow, hour to hour, man. It's just, it's nice being first. I love it. It just, it motivates me. If there's someone in front of you, you just gotta pass them. Uh, and if you, you screw up, you just know what you gotta do next time. You just gotta keep going. And I'm I just always motivated. I always wake up with enthusiasm. It even sucks. Last night, this recruit's drill instructor went through and told him a story about a Marine who received the Medal of Honor uh, back in Vietnam. And this, uh, this recruit heard about that Marine going through an intense amount of pain for days, days on end, uh, saving his Marines, saving their lives. And the whole, the whole run that's all Marine could think about was the fact that this, this run's only 20 minutes long, but that Marine continued to go for days and days and days and gave his life in the end, sir.